this is why I don't debate Bitsy Works beats. Any anytime I've seen him in an interview, what he does is he just dances around anything you try to ask him. Dame and Bitsy Works beats did an interview, and uh, the the title originally in here was uh, doc, I don't know what the original title was, but I know my name was in it. It was like something 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 Proxy Wars and Weaver Beats. I talked to Dame about this, and he said it was because they were supposed to talk about me more, but Busy kept just dodging everything. First things first, why is Busy Works Beats always doing this? Can smile. I don't know what this smile is. No matter what's going on in the video or in the live stream, he's got this smile. I don't understand what is going on here with that. Is Weaver Beats a part of that community of DJ Payne, Ab McCree, Bolo the producer, Curtis King, Dan? What is the what is that community? I didn't sign up for any community. King Taylor, the Busy Works Beats. Like, is he one of those pillars? Yes. What does that mean? No, would you say? Some people think he's solidifying himself as a media type of part of the pillar, but not, you know, yes, some people believe that. So he's, so is he, is he, okay, so think about, think about all of the people that I named. What, like, what, well, how would you describe all of us? Dame Taylor, EA Ski, Bolo the producer, Ab McCree, Curtis King. Um, we are music influencers in, in the area of what, like, Navy D. Like are we Navy D? I believe it's Navy D. Maybe I'm wrong. Putting out informational tutorials, like what? Like what are? You like put it away. He put the smile away for a second. And it's like, are we? And like, what separates Weaver Beats from that? Because the... okay, wait, he's about to say some crazy shit right now. I feel like um, I think the main difference is that we're leaders. <laughs> okay, go on. And I don't believe Weaver Beats is a leader. There's a lot of people who make but what kind of leader goes on and makes a video called producer community infighting and then just makes up a bunch of shit about someone else that someone else is me content, but they're not leaders. A leader is somebody who accepts responsibility and accountability. And I've been trying to get you to acknowledge both and you haven't. So Ooh, let's go, Dame. Let's go. I just became a fan. I'm a Dame fan right now. If you have to tell people that you're a leader, you're not a leader. True. But what when I'm you say that, what, <laughs> I thought I addressed it, but what, I guess my question is. Bro, where's your accountability for the producer community infighting video? You never even acknowledge my video about you. Where's the accountability for making a bunch of shit about me in that video? Is when you say that I should be accountable on all these things, what is the lie or the. That whole fucking video, dude. Damage. Some things you're saying that content leads people to do wild stuff. And it's just like, what is the <laughs> thing that I need to be accountable for, so to speak? Come on. Okay, I got to team up with Dame, bro. I got to team up with Dame. I got to give him the insider information, bro. Because, like, I feel like he doesn't know. Bro, you an influencer. That's, it's, bro, as soon as you influence a person, there's a responsibility and accountability that comes with that automatically. Like, it just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So it, it comes with the job. Unfortunately, it seems like a lot of people don't understand that. We are influencing people, bro. Like, period. If you put out information, it don't matter whether it's good or bad information, you are influencing someone period and, True. and you know a common comment was like yo like it's up to the person to make the decision on their own no that's not how this shit works that's not what an influencer or a leader does that's not what it is period bro and so um i hate the term influencer yeah yeah it makes it sound like your job is to like control people you know i don't like the name content creator either but i do prefer content creator over influencer really answer that question for you right now because like it really kind of seems pointless to like keep like hammering the fact that like yo you're misleading misleading people because you you don't acknowledge it and maybe you just don't see it maybe i think he doesn't see it you just oblivious to it and if you are then it's like it's no point in continuing to hammer that see like influencer is the people shilling that transit plugin uh, content creator is somebody just making videos that's the difference me and so okay. it's like all right well i'm gonna just leave this shit alone um, but then it, it really kind of takes me back to the current state of the online music community, bro. This is why we have this. Okay. I got to agree with this commenter here. Weaver's videos are moving the needle and he's gaining tracks with new and established viewers in the producer community and his videos on busy are shining a light on him in a negative way to new producers. He can be mad at that, but Weaver is not making shit up. Big online music community and the majority of the community sucks. 
Like, the majority <laughs> of the community sucks. I feel like the way Deem looks at it, he thinks that the music production community is just hip-hop producers. There, There's, like, a bunch of other people as well, too. There's electronic producers. a lot of really talented electronic producers in the music production space that I feel like don't get brought up in these sort of conversations. And I think it's just because they're in a different genre. Like, I mean, Mr. Bill, Rio Leva, he's actually a, a rap producer. Uh, Cody, Cody's got some decent beats, I feel like. Uh, go back to electronic producers. Oversampled's pretty good. Who else we got? Name some names, guys. AU5, there's another one. Kenny Beats, true. Kenny Beats, not bad. Simon Savita, yeah, Simon Savita's fine. Weird Beats 2 is pretty good. Weird Beats 2 is pretty good. Yeah, I like that guy. I heard that guy uploads a lot. I think people should subscribe to him. Most EDM YouTubers make videos on how to copy famous artist tracks. I'm not talking about EDM producers. I'm talking about electronic producers. This is a difference, in my opinion. I feel like EDM is like very stock. Like the type of people that make like festival electronic music. That's EDM, in my opinion. I like that. I like that. That's That sounds like a good idea for content. All right, let's get back to this. There's definitely a lot of talented producers, though. I don't know. Bad Snacks. Yeah, I was going to say Bad Snacks. Um, God, who else is there? I feel like I'm really being put on the spot here right now. I mean, Venus Theory makes some bar eight tracks. He doesn't really show them very often. Ben Jordan's pretty good, but he's definitely in a different genre. That it's because of the lack of intention from the top influencers. And I'm not just saying it because of you, bro. Like, there is no way that... Oh, 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 busy loss of smile there again. Smile's gone. We should have this online music community community that has what let's just say a million music creators that we could touch and help and inform the value of the creative should be higher than what it is and it's not i agree i agree i was fighting behind the scenes with brands who try to give out nfrs to these younger content creators in exchange for content I'm like, look, if y'all knew your video was going to generate this company 20000 I feel like he's such a manipulator, man. He's trying to make it sound like he's a good guy here. Hey, Busy. Hey, thank you for the 2 one subscription. I was like, what the fuck is that sound, dude? <laughs> What's an NFR? That means a not-for-resale license, usually of a um, a software. How much would you charge them? I say, if you don't charge them at least 30%, you're not getting your just due. And I think when I saw the behind the scenes about how much money these companies are making and how they're taking advantage of these creators, I really... He's really just like maneuvering here with this, with this, with the subjects, man. He's just changing the subject. He's talking about Weaver Beats. He's talking about accountability. Oh, let's get this over to uh, bigger brands behind the scenes. You know, bigger brands behind the scenes. They're, those are the bad guys. I'm not the bad guy. We went on a mission. That's why I created that mastermind group. Shut the fuck up, dude. The mastermind group is just a way for you to like get people on your team. That's what it is. Top 100 guys is because I said, let's create a common communication channel to where we can all talk and make sure that this company is not trying to screw us. You know, we even though we OK, that that could be good. But I don't I feel like there's a lot more to the mastermind shit than that may have opposing views. I think at the time, Ab McCree was, you know, uh, opposed to MG or Curtis King or one of them. But I still had them in the same room. It's it's not about do we oppose each other's opinion? It's about we might not trust each other in that sacred inner circle, but we're at least in the inner court together. And that company, even though they have 50. If that's really what it is, Busy, then why don't you have all uh, content creators in there? Why do you only have certain content creators in there? Think about that. If you want, if you want, if it's all about communication to make sure, make sure brands don't screw you over, then you should have every single content creator in there, at least within the music production space, obviously. But that's not what it's about. A million to give out the content creators. They didn't give it to us, the actual leaders of the community, when Native Instruments got 53 million in in uh, capital to put in account it's so many it's all it's so hard to think of all the people content they bought sounds.com for a million dollars and wasted the rest they oh my god we don't care man cut off a third of their company why because they didn't invest in the people who were the actual leaders well and because the, that's what i'm saying because what from what i damn you gotta stop letting him talk about this shit dude when he does this you need to be like no let's get back to the subject at hand here i think there needs to be a moderator in this in this sort of debate especially with busy works beats because he's gonna like sidetrack you constantly see the leaders in the music community ain't making good music ain't none of y'all making good music ab mccree ain't making good music <laughs> bolo not making i'm sorry it's just funny that he's not even disputing that i mean i think ab makes okay shit sometimes it's hit or miss good music curtis <laughs> king not making good music i think curtis king makes okay shit sometimes too like makes some decent shit some shi sometimes I, in that beat battle he made some crazy shit MG the future not making good music. Okay, see, this is funny to me because MG the future is like, bro, he barely even uploads, dude. Like, what is he catching strays here for, man? What is he catching? I don't know what he's catching strays here for, man.
music, you not making good music, bro. Okay, Busy's not making good music. He's not even making music at all, man. He's not making music. He when's the last time Busy released a song? The only time he ever released a song was when he had beef with Curtis King. And it was that diss track and he deleted it. And then obviously there was that mixtape he did a long time ago that's deleted now. I would love to spend here's what I gotta say to people who say that. Go watch my latest tutorials. But I would love to Fuck this guy. Go watch my latest tutorials. Man, this is this is what this is about for him, dude. Go watch my latest tutorials. Just want to say it. Go watch my latest tutorials. Spend nine hours to make a full song. But A, that's a lot of time. The problem is if I'm teaching 808 slides and I spent nine hours. You, okay, here's the thing, dude. You don't have to upload four videos a day. Just to show you a microscopic piece that you don't even care about the rest of the song with. It seems over the top to overly but that's that's what well, you could do it with the rest of your time bro that's fine you prioritize you know what you want to prioritize i'm just responding to what you said about why a, a company with 53 million dollars did not pour that into the community of the top influencers so it's like okay the top influencers we got a lot of professional unboxers niggas is good at opening up equipment and talking about it and being the first one to introduce it to the community so I just seen that what well, Adam McCree just put out a Serato sample video, but what is he making? Here's the tricky part is <laughs> how can I benefit out of this? Here's the tricky part. How can I gain out of this? Forgive me chat for, for looking off in the distance, but I really want to give you guys information that you may not understand is, oh my God, because I'm such on a higher level. You may not understand it. That there's a difference between musician, like for example, why is it that the greatest musicians work for a record label? It's because mu the musicianship is not the thing that creates the sales. And you have to have in this new economy, people who are good at music, but also good at the sales thing and the internet thing, the editing thing, all the content type stuff. And I do agree with him on that. I agree with busy works beats on that. So you see the prevalence of those guys getting a little more. You you have to, to in order to do YouTube, you have to, there's a lot of time that goes into other things than just music production. That's why that's one reason why there's not a lot of people that are really good at music production also doing YouTube. Luckily, I mean, I'm not to like to my own horn here or anything, but I was doing music production for like 10 years before I started doing YouTube. So like I already had the practice in before that. And some people still say my shit sucks. Some people say my shit's great. I mean, whatever. Um, acknowledgement because they they that's their skill set. You know, Navi D, for example, is great video editing. That's his skill set. His beat. He doesn't know this Navi. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to reveal this. OK, Navi doesn't edit his own videos. Maybe down here. But okay, that's fucked up, dude. Why are you throwing Navity under the bus here right now? But because he's a 90 at shooting threes, you know, all we have to do is pass. Is that why you're copying his videos? Is this why you're copying his videos? In the ball to shoot a three. Yeah, We're that's my point. So that's what I'm saying. So, like bro, I need to pass Dame information, bro. He doesn't know. I, I would have passed this information to him, but you made it members only, man. This was members only. I couldn't be in the chat being like, he's still Navi D's videos. Or he made up a bunch of shit in the producer in community fighting video. Like, you can't, this is why you can't make it members only, man. We definitely got to give respect to the content creators because content creating is not easy, bro. Being a consistent YouTuber is not fucking easy at all. Like, so when I see y'all, I mean, you got the answer there, then Dame uploading hella video. Get Dame on a video call. I I'll be down after this. Yo, bro, like that right there deserves respect for sure. Like, so, like if you worked your ass off to to garner a hundred k subs, like you deserve respect, bro. That shit wasn't easy. It wasn't a fluke. You know what I'm saying? Oh, thank but you, thank you. so, but when we at the end of the day, who are the hundred k subs? And what is the quality of the 100K subs? And how are you contributing to the quality of the 100K subs? That's where we at right now, bro. Like, that's what we're talking about. So, like, yes, bro, for sure. Is it easy working your ass off to generate? Maybe BWB went biblical or Art of War. I mean, he definitely reads Art of War for sure. And said, like, keep your friends close, enemies closer. See, I think he, he, he tries to do that for sure. Because he followed me back recently after unfollowing me. And, like, he's trying to, like, make all buddy-buddy with me. Which I'm not going to do because he's like going in interviews and like talking a bunch of shit about me, like making shit up. Not even talking shit about me, making shit up about me. That's, that's, I don't even care if you talk shit about me. People can talk shit about me. Talk shit about me, chat. I don't give a fuck. But if you're going to make up shit about me and then like spread it on a platform, this got 2,500 views or two, 2,400 views. There was 200 people watching this at a time yesterday when this was broadcast. And this is not the first time he's done this. This is probably like the third or fourth time he's done this. And like, this is also really good content. That's one reason I want to do this. Like, I'm, I was thinking about just like letting this go. I was like, should I just let this go? But I feel like he's going to keep doing it, you know? And it's one thing if you want to make a meme about me. Like, if he wants to make a meme or something, I'd be like, cool, cool. It's funny.
Awesome. I mean, if you're just going to go out there and just make up shit, I don't know. The amount of subscribers that any of you guys have know it's not fucking easy. You know what I'm saying? And so, yes, the top... Weaver's beard is weird. Resonant S. Smell his headphones. Oh, God damn it. All right, guys, that's it. I'm reacting. I'm reacting to you guys now. We're not look. We're not working on busy anymore. We're working on you guys. Guys in in the online music community have figured that out. Oh my god, dude, dude, dude! The chat is killing him here, dude. God damn it. Okay, well, somebody in the chat said his editing is so good it makes you want to steal it, right, busy? <laughs> DJ Payne, Ad McCree, Bolo, the producer, Curtis King, you, like you guys have all figured out how to generate, you know, content that's watchable that will make people want to subscribe to you for sure. You know what I'm saying? Oh, thank you. But we're talking about the current state of the online music community. All of the people watching this shit with the negative mindsets, all the people watching this shit. I mean, Dame, I feel like you have a negative mindset too, which is okay. I think it's a lot. You're allowed to have a negative mindset. You know, I mean, it's hard to say that you don't have a negative mindset. Being positive or negative is like not completely wrong. I mean, definitely being realistic is definitely the way to go, right? I mean, there's definitely like a, a middle ground, you know? It's like a spectrum between positivity and negativity. The people that are in the comments that's 40, 50 years old with anonymous accounts, this online music community overall is terrible. I think overall, this is more indicative of what's going on with the internet and YouTube and less about the music production community itself. I guarantee you, you can find 40 year old people behind anonymous accounts in any internet community and the music community is no different. I think people get negativity with being critical, confused a lot, especially in uh, the hip hop community. Because if you're, if you don't agree with something, you're a hater automatically. That's the worst thing you can be branded as is a hater. BWB smiles like he's being held at gunpoint. True. Well, who are the top influencers? Who are the people influencing the current up, music Kev? community this guy this guy this guy this guy this guy this guy and so when we look at those guys they have to take responsibility for negativity bias the current state because right. the chat literally just told us who the top influencers were so if anybody comes on youtube hate that word dude and says the online music community sucks who takes the blame for that bro right and that's why i used to call out anybody who broke that integrity even beat club you know bro shut the Fuck up, he's talking about you, man. He's talking about you. How do you not get in this? I thought that they broke integrity on. Okay, now, okay, so he's talking about me now. Let's talk about Beat Club. It's, it's, so which character you fall in, Weaver? I'm trying to figure out which community you belong to. I don't really belong to a community. I just, I, I do music production. I noticed there wasn't people doing commentary in this uh, sector. So I started doing commentary. I figured it was something different. I also do news, too. I feel like it's kind of, it's kind of similar. And I would at least offer this to the chat to say, me being here is this trying to be accountable there's a lot of creators you mentioned that probably won't pull up because they have yeah, ego true. they have pride they're come on bro you you don't have ego and pride i don't know what it is and but you know behind the scenes though to kind of go back or they just don't care maybe it's that I, honestly i gotta sit down and talk to dame because like BWB is trying to score him out of this. None of these other people really have any obligation to talk to Dame because Dame has been making videos calling out busy work speeds by name in the titles for a while now. So if anyone's going to come up here, it should be him. This this world that we live in is a different economy. I had to realize this. I hate when people think we have to fit into a group or something. It reminds me of when I was in high school. Are you a skater or a gamer? Bullshit. I see the industry, what people call the music industry, is like two different states. The music industry and the online space. And long story short is that you know, to be at the... And I guess you're semi-adjacent to Ben Jordan in his area. I feel like the I feel like Dame doesn't even know Ben Jordan and Venus Theory exist. I love your kids more than you do. I can't get over that statement. You know what's the weirdest thing about that, bro? Earlier today, he liked a picture of my daughter on Instagram. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. I saw that. I was like, oh, dude, don't be doing that. That's weird. Come on, man. That's weird. You don't need to, you don't need to do that, man. Way too creepy. I mean, to be fair, he was doing that before the before the whole I love your kids more than you do shit. But it's just weird, man. Like after saying that, you can't do that, bro. You can. Can you recognize that picture there? What I'm saying is if I went to Native Instruments and said, hey, I need to sell two million units of your machine. Making the hardest beat on that is not necessarily going to sell that machine. And we have to find the people who are good at these things. OK, so that's my point. So we got to call out the corporate companies because the corporate companies is giving the top influencers gear that they not properly using. So they're just giving gear to people who that sell the shit. That's the problem, which is influencing the people who are watching the content to go buy the product, to follow how you guys are using it, to also contribute to not properly using the fucking shit. That's my point. So if NPC or Akai decides that they want 
Ab McCree to be their brand ambassador, right? And so they say, Ab McCree, we're going to give you this exclusive NPC. And then Ab McCree go literally generate 1,000 sales of the NPC. Okay, that's that's generous. That is definitely generous, but go on. Okay. So then let's just say 1,000. <laughs> those motherfuckers, most of them, gonna, who they going to go and find out who using the NPC. So then you see Ab McCree going to try and use it, right? And the same thing, so say someone like you, bro, because the thing with you is, You'll tell people, you'll say, I'm going to show you guys how to make a Drake beat. And then you'll tell them exactly how to do it step by step. And then you'll also give them the files to the beat. So now does he give the files to the beat. I don't know. I haven't really been watching his videos. Oh, someone that was intentional. Like that content you put out was intentional. You intended to influence someone to follow something that you created this conversation is all over the place bb is doing some aggressive blinking because otherwise you would not have done it so if you're going i'm going to teach you how to make a drake beat whether you spend nine minutes or nine hours there's someone that's going to watch it and, and you wouldn't be giving specific instructions if you didn't want people to take specific instructions or follow specific instructions okay. like eric said if that's the case then you should give disclaimers if you go watch focus who is one a waves audio partner one of the most talented producers in the music industry you go watch his videos and he does like a master class of waves audio he'll say i'm not showing you guys this so you can copy i want you guys to go and create your own way and he started the video off by letting you know that like look like i'm not giving you guys any templates because it's not about that like i just want you guys to hear what we're doing with this and then you go and explore and create this yourself i'm gonna skip ahead a bit i heard he says uh, i'm i i got mad because i quit smoking weed i can't wait to get to that part you're still going through your recovery bitchiness yeah a year and a half later you got all these other people shit we even weaver beats got a response we all have a fucking responsibility bro and we'll get to the okay let's go bottom of it but it may take us some time man it's just probably going to take us some fucking time bro that's it no i agree i agree i think that's why we all need to get on a communication channel and have that round table talk just to really see where we oppose each other and where we can better communicate with each other first and ask him if he's willing to fight in a cage match with we are beast in the proxy war for the culture first off there's no proxy war secondly why do you guys want us to fight each other so bad dude are we just entertainment for you are we just entertainment for you are we just entertainment for you then how to disseminate that out to folks and i'll tell you this just as a yes <laughs> seated at the tail weaver you're gonna you're sitting in the back of the classroom weaver you're facing the wall no talking today shut the fuck up a good story before i leave is that um you know we had sweetwater bidding for a uh, producer reality show in the in the thousands of dollars per episode what the fuck dude what this is not about dollars. me and so i heard about all these stories about women getting mistreated in the industry on clubhouse and I said, whoa, I didn't even know this existed. So I created a campaign to where it was just focused on women producers. And it went, I guess, you know, it influenced the people who needed to see it. And then all the companies, Isotope, you name it. You can literally scroll on Instagram. Whenever you see women highlighted as the content creator, that came out of me just wanting to make change on behalf of the stories that- Shut the fuck up, dude. Bullshit. That is some bullshit. That we heard. So that's my intent is always- how okay, do we well, raise you, well, our value? Well, well, you should be leading with that content, bro. That's what I'm saying. So I hear what you're saying, but let's lead with that content. I, I think that's bullshit. So, bro, you trying yeah, to buy, made you public, trying to box made Weaver Beats, bro? Huh. <laughs> you're right. I made peace with them. I said, I have empathy because, you know, maybe it's something out of, you know, when people quit marijuana, for example, they don't, some people don't understand that you actually go through like anger. There's a phase of anger what and rage almost. Anything? Well, the fuck, I quit weed like about a year and a half ago right now. A year and a half. I, what the fuck? I quit. Okay, yeah, I'm angry right now. Ooh, it's, the, it's the weed, man. It's the, I'm feeding for the weed, man. I'm feeding. Oh, I got to smoke. I got to. Because he mentioned that he, he quit uh, smoking marijuana. Bro, and Weaver Beast is not racist. He's not exploiting black people for content, bro. Uh, thank Weaver you. Is funny as thank you. Thank you, God. Shit. And I think that if a lot of content... Okay, this is the kind of shit I was waiting for somebody to say, dude. Thank you. I need somebody else to say this other than me. Because if it comes from me, it's just like, well, of course you're going to say that. Creators change. Yeah, saying that he's wearing a backwoods font hoodie. True. They approach to the way they put out content. I think that would affect the way that Weaver Beats puts out content. And so I think that instead of calling out Weaver Beats for shit he's doing, a lot of what Weaver Beats does is in reaction to what we do or don't do you know what i'm saying right. okay there we go dude 
He's got to figure it out. Dame's got to figure it out here. Okay, well, let's hear what Busy's saying. What he does is in reaction to what we do or don't do. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's why I wanted to prevent it because, you know, I think it's part responsibility. When me and Curtis King went at it, like, live, and it was pretty nasty um, to where, you know, people saw it. If they saw it, they saw it. And after we pieced it up publicly, then Weaver Beats put out his stuff. So sometimes it's the timing of things, you know. I mean, I reacted to that like right when it happened, bro. I don't and know. I don't think that should be up because two black men pieced it up publicly. Why is it? Why does it matter whether whether people are black? Like, is it fine if they're white? Is that the implication here? Okay. The reason why some of my videos like that exist is I feel like it's a cautionary tale. You get to see what happened between these two people. Not only is it entertainment for certain people, but it's also a cautionary tale. You get to understand what happened. You get to understand the history. Like it can maybe help you preventing, like prevent you from making some of the same mistakes going down the road. And it's like, look, if we piece it up publicly, even though we, like I didn't, in those videos, I didn't say like, yo, this guy's wrong. Go hate this guy. Had a battle, you know, not a beat battle, but a uh, clashing before that should cancel out, you know, the thing, but. But you basically, basically what you're saying is there should be no documentation of it, you know? There should be no documentation. No one should be allowed to have opinions. It's silencing. You're, you're saying you want to silence criticism. You want to silence documentation. Regardless, he considers it journalism. Basically, one person referred to what I do as journalism, and BWB has been going around saying that I've been calling it journalism. This is not the first time he's done this. I don't know why he does this. To me, it's I don't consider what I do journalism. I consider it commentary. Like maybe my WNIM videos, that could be like partially journalism. But like at the end of the day, a lot of times I'm like reading articles or I'm getting information just directly from the people that made the product or whatever or from their websites etc uh sometimes it's an opinion piece uh other times it's just commentary it's just me commentating over something that happened giving my opinion on it that's a lot of content on youtube actually like it's i'm not the only one to do this like i don't know i don't know how he doesn't get this when you put verses and... look bro at the end of the day we... wait what about putting verses oh verses oh, who the fuck cares dude that's just an easy way to label like this guy and this guy I put verses all the time when it's not verses. Like I, I compared plugins. I put plugin versus plugin. People do that all the time. Considers it journalism to me when you put verses. And Look, bro. At the end of the day, Weaver is not needed in the community, but Weaver Aww. is funny. You know. Okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. First of all, I was like, oh, come on. And then I'm like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Saying like, um, we all got to do better. We get your grift off. It's not a crime. Come on, man. Come on, man. We got to do better, too. So it's not like how do I got to do not better? exempt from responsibility and accountability. Like we all as in fucking influencers got to do better. All of us got to do it better. We all got to do better, bro. I mean, if you got criticism for me, let me levy it towards me, man. I'm willing to hear it out. You're saying anytime we do a video, I don't think I'm perfect. Whether it's five minutes or 15 minutes, somebody's watching that shit, bro. We all as influencers got to do a better job. Every Ave do yeah. OK, so uh, someone in the chat there says Ab does reaction videos, too. He does. I think he was doing them before I was even. And I, I don't even think I was copying it from him. Uh, I just that's just like a style of content on YouTube. Are you definitely not needed? You know, I mean, OK, think if you think about it in the, the day, if everyone only put out good plugins, didn't try to like take advantage of their audience or didn't do weird shit. I would have nothing to talk about. I would have to do something else. I would have to. The only thing I could do is W and N then. And then that's like, that's the only content I have then. Like he's right. I would have to actually make beats and no one will watch it. No one wants to watch anyone make beats. And that's just, that's just what I see in this community from somebody that's given my life to music, bro. Like it, it, like the fact that I don't even want to get on here and put out content because I don't even respect the com the creators in this community is crazy. Good thing humans are flawed. True. I always have content. And before I even make money or start selling shit, I want to learn the best way to approach YouTube. Like I want to figure out. You can review good know. products. I do. I do sometimes. It's just not people don't find that as interesting though. Numbers. I want to make sure I'm doing this shit the right way. If I can't do it the right way, then I don't want to fucking do it. The guys that I'm in company with are guys that have been up here for years that have been you know running up the numbers and it's cool but like the current common music creative is not good right now bro and it's all of it's all of the creators fault every single one including timberland and so the fact that nobody's calling it out then i'll call the shit out it just is what it is bro i think you should invite everybody i think you did before but you know if they need a vouching or whatever you know av you vouching he views things really weird, man. Vouching. Who's vouching what? You know, we need to see up here. Uh, Curtis King, Weaver Beats, all the people you name. Navi. Man, uh, look, look, we can bring uh, if they come up here and do what you do is no point. But I mean, what? OK, no offense to Dame, but what does anyone owe to Dame? You know, like just because you're like criticizing someone or calling them out doesn't mean you have to acknowledge them, you know?
you can choose to whether or not you want to like uh, i actually want to have a conversation with dame though because i feel like there's some stuff he doesn't know about busy works beats and i need to i need to get him in on this okay he needs to know he needs to know a little more here <laughs> At the end of the day, the people going to be the, the judge and the jury at the end of the day. It's not about having everybody come up and dance around shit. Someone please get Weaver a ghetto pass. What is it? What? What even is a get? I, I must not have a ghetto pass. I don't even know what the fuck that is. BGB, let me vouch for you because people won't trust you without me saying you're okay. Yo, he's cool. He's cool, man. He's cool. <laughs> You can sell him the you can sell him the weed. You can sell Weaver the weed. He's got kind of a problem though. If he doesn't have his weed, he gets fucking angry. He gets mad. They were not accept account of because they can all come up and not accept responsibility and it's not gonna do shit. But at the end of the day, somebody needs to point out the truth. I mean, what is the accountability and uh responsibility I need to accept? I will accept it. Just point it out. If it's about like people going to Busy Work Speed's video and disliking it or leaving mean comments, I mean, I was just reacting to his video. I actually put a disclaimer not to harass him, and that probably stops some of it. But some people are just gonna get they're gonna get mad regardless, you know, and like they're gonna do something. So like the only way to like, avoid that is just to like just bury it completely, like not even not even acknowledge it, not react to it, not say anything about it, just let them slander me. Like that's the only there's no there's no hundred percent way to like stop people from doing that. And then the people need to have the opportunity to see what they're a part of and then see the truth of it. And then the, we need a lot of people to make. There's also some other funny shit. I don't know if it's in this video, but he said it might be in this video. He said that uh, people from from my side <laughs> signed him up to Pornhub. And also, I don't know if it was death threats. I don't know what the fuck. There's, people are doing some crazy shit, though. Okay, let me just get this straight. I disavow. I disavow, guys. Don't do that shit. I mean, the Pornhub shit is kind of funny. That is kind of funny. I maybe don't completely disavow that one. But the rest of it, dude, don't be like threatening to kill anyone or anything. None of that shit. That's crazy. Good decision. That's just what that's what needs to happen. So it's not about I'm not trying to I'm not even trying to talk to half of them niggas. Like I, I don't care to have a conversation with Adam McCree. I would not expect them to come up here and talk to me because I've been saying they beats is not good for over a year. So like I'm not expecting everybody to come talk to me. We don't need to have yeah, can you imagine the way that would go down? Yo, your beats are trash every day for like a year. Yo, your beats are trash. Yo, your beats are trash. Are you gonna come up here and talk to me or what? <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you coming up here to talk to me? I've been saying you're beating trash for a year. Why aren't you coming up here to talk to me? We all just need to understand that, like, we should be looking to get better and innovate. I'm not seeing no innovation in the space at all. It's just everybody's just care about their checks and the community is just going down. That's it. I think what I do is innovation, at least in the sense of doing something different from a lot of people in this space. I also think what Venus Theory and Ben Jordan do is innovative as well, too. I'm sure there's some others also. Venus Theory's philosophical video essay content is very different from what a lot of people are doing. Ben Jordan's deep dive analysis on subjects within the music space are also different from what other people are doing. And so we just need a better community. And but if if y'all don't clean up y'all shit, the people going to start leaving y'all. Or that people are gonna start calling your shit out, and the people are going to be the ones that make the decision, bro. It's like so if you got a restaurant and the quality of your restaurant decline, and people start coming to your restaurant and they go to the restaurant across the street, you're either gonna make adjustments to bring those people back, campaign to bring them back, or you. I know it's busy. Works is getting a dish back for being racist. Posting tomorrow, I disavow, but I'll listen to it. I li I'll listen to it. I disavow. Shame on you, but I will listen to it. I will react to it. For example, Ab McCree went at EA Ski, right? stupid so now i'm b2b is like an angry restaurant owner who deletes reviews and says everything is okay yeah pretty sure he lost a lot of his viewership to ea ski so you just birthed a ea ski because you was unintentional right but the dope thing about Adam McCree is he has the ability to market, so his content's still going crazy. But there's going to be another Adam McCree. There's going to be another Dame Taylor. There's going to be... I mean, Adam McCree did say before, I'm Adam McCree 2.0. You know what I don't like at my restaurants? How to find a wife videos. But the <laughs> fact that the current creatives seem like they just want it to be about themselves, and that's it. Like, I'm looking to birth... Everybody in M League is working on creating content. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, like, I'm turning M League members into content creators, bro. Like, we're building, like, I'm empowering my guys. Like, I'm not trying to be none of that. I'm trying to be Dang Taylor, but I want to empower my guys to go and do these things. And I don't care whether they surpass me or not. I'm not trying to beef with you. I'm not trying to beef with nobody. I just want to make sure that we got the right shit in this fucking community. And unfortunately, nobody in this current space has real industry experience. I don't think industry experience is the only thing you need. I mean, there. I think the thing is, he isn't he's only familiar with certain people. Like, for instance, Rio Leva is getting more like way more placements than Dame ever had. I think he's what does he got like 50K subs or something? I don't know. But like, does he know he exists? I mean, Cody's also got 
industry credits. He's got to widen his horizons. You know, I think he's only familiar with certain people. DJ Payne needs to change his shit. Curtis King needs to change shit. DJ Payne's got industry credits too. You need to change. What's wrong? With, what's wrong with DJ Payne shit? Shit. EA Ski needs to change shit. Weaver needs to change shit. What do I need to change? Tell me. I need to change shit. Okay. We all need to change stuff. And so that's just what it is, bro. And so if y'all don't do it, then I'm just going to react to everything. And then the people are going to make the decision. That's just all it is, bro. That's basically, yeah. I think he kind of does the same thing I do, to be honest. Like, that's one thing I like about Dame is I feel like he's also a commentator. I think one one thing about his uh, opinions about, like, the music production community, I think it would be more effective if he was, like, if he only pointed out specific people with really bad production versus, like, pointing out everyone. Like, I feel like throwing Bolo, uh, I don't know who else, Payne, etc., all these people under the bus, too. I think he's better off just picking out the worst of the worst, you know?